and Gires and Jean Tigana, they were clearly putting together a side which would be a force to be reckoned with as hosts in the next European Championship. Whether France yet had the iron will to withstand the particular pressures of a World Cup was still to be proved. Gires, one of the smallest players in international football, was a giant against the Irish. He scored two goals and so did Dominique Rocheteau, the wonderfully gifted but injury-prone winger from Paris Saint-Germain. Rocheteau, so inconsistent for much of his international career, was the pick of the French forwards. In the Vicente Calderon Stadium, he might even have picked up a hat-trick with a little more luck and accuracy. A mistake by the French goalkeeper Jean-Luc Ettori presented Northern Ireland with a goal for Armstrong. Billy Bingham's team had already exceeded all expectations. In the end, France cruised home. Three men in the crowd were especially delighted. Raymond Coppa, Juste Fontaine and Roger Piantini had been players themselves the last time France reached the World Cup semi-finals all of 24 years earlier. <laughs>